Welcome back to Let's Talk and you are with me, Mira. Well, today I've got some words for you that you would love because you're going to stop using the word bad for everything, right? This doesn't taste good. This is bad. I don't like your dress. It's bad. My experience was bad. Well, guys, I think there's so much more to it than just the word bad. And we're going to learn different words to express in different situations. Right? So let's get started, guys. Well, the first one, the first word is lousy. Now, hear the example first and you would immediately understand what is the meaning of it. I had a lousy Sunday. What does that mean? My brother is extremely lousy when it comes to studying. Lousy means slow or poor, right? Lousy means slow or poor at something. I had a slow Sunday or a poor Sunday. Okay, so that one is lousy. The next one is while. Now while means wicked. For example, they gave us a while expression when we said we want to be in a live-in relationship. So, while expression means a wicked expression. The way we see in probably some sitcoms where some really dramatic expressions happen. Well, you can also say, why do you have that wild smile on your face? That means a wicked smile on your face. You must be some thinking something mischievous. So, vile means wicked. Okay, the next one is hellish. Hellish means like hell, right? This one's pretty simple, but how can you use it? You can use it to uh, express a certain experience. Our train journey was hellish. Or you can say the flight got delayed for 48 hours. It was hellish out there. It was like hell hell. Well, the next one is nasty. Now, when you hear the word nasty, you immediately understand how you can use it, okay? So, for example, well, nasty means filthy, right? Okay, nasty means filthy. So, for example, you can say, why do you have that nasty expression. I have tried and, and switched while with nasty. That means filthy expression. When you look at certain food or um, something that is lying around which you don't like, you, you do this, right? So that's nasty. Or people also sometimes use it when people want to say, that's a nasty thought. That's a filthy thought, right? So nasty means filthy. Well, moving on, we have ghastly. Right here, I've just forgot to add an H, which I'm going to do here. So that's ghastly, okay? Now, ghastly means horrifying or ter terribly frightening experience. I use this whenever I see a ghost movie or a snake. I say, oh my God, I just saw a snake. It was ghastly. Okay, ghastly means terrifying. Terrifying. Um, or, like I said, for a movie, you can say, that movie was ghastly. That means it scared the hell out of you. <laughs> right? The next one is brutal. Well, this one is often used by people. Brutal means cold-blooded. Okay, so cold-blooded. What does cold-blooded really mean? Any ideas? Any guesses? Cold-blooded means when someone is so, when it seems to be mean. For example, truth is always brutal. That means it is so honest. Whenever someone tells you the truth, it hurts, right? It's bad to know the truth. Instead of saying bad, you can start using brutal. Or 
Stop giving such brutal suggestions every time. People have emotions as well. That means don't be so cold-blooded every time. Have a little bit of emotion, have a little bit of sympathy, right? The next one is yucky. Don't kids love to use this word? Yucky means distasteful, right? Something that doesn't taste good, distasteful. So this one could be highly used whenever you do not like something to eat. You can say, oh my god, that soup is so yucky, I don't like it. Salad? Ew, yucky, who eats salads? <laughs> so that's yucky for you guys. Now we have immoral here. Immoral means something that is unethical, right? Immoral means unethical. The next time when you see people doing things which are unethical, you don't have to say that he's a bad person because he does bad things. You can say he's not a nice person because he does immoral things. The things which people around us, the society usually doesn't like to be done. Or don't do anything that is immoral, otherwise it will get you behind the bars. Don't do something bad, it will get you behind the bars. And we have replaced it with immoral. Moving on to annoying. Now, who uses this word quite often? Me? Well, annoying means something, something that causes irritation, right? Causing irritation. Okay. Your voice is so annoying. Do you say that to people? Well, don't say that. They'll get hurt. But basically, you mean to say it is causing you irritation. Okay? Switch off that fan or it's just, it's so annoying. The noise is so annoying. Who's making that annoying no noise out there? Irritating you, right? It's causing irritation. And that's why you use annoying instead of bad. Now we have dis. Disgusting. Now, what does disgusting mean? Disgusting is also the same. It's, it's something that just uh, causes you some sort of irritation. Okay, so it's the same as above. Irritation mixed with anger. Okay. So you instead of you can either use annoying or disgusting, it's going to be it, it's going to have the same feeling, okay? We can say, uh, oh my God, don't wear that again. It's torn. That will look disgusting. Don't wear torn clothes. It's looking disgusting. You can say, iron your clothes. Otherwise, it's not going to look good or bad. Instead, you use disgusting, okay? Sometimes you might not like people's thoughts or the way they think or the way they judge others. Stop judging people, that's disgusting, is something that you can say that generates anger in you. Now the next one is evil, okay? Evil means um, sinful, that causes harm, right? Sinful or harm, okay? So for example, you can say, um, your thoughts are totally evil. You should change them. That means don't think like that. That will cause people harm. Or you can always say that there are so many pe evil people around us, but I'm sure good will always win. The good people will always win. People who cause harm will not win. That means bad people, evil people, right? Now, the last one you have is rotten. Sometimes whenever you uh, come across some stale food items, you end up saying that's bad food or that has gone bad. Instead, you can replace it with rotten. Rotten means poor quality, right? Something that has lost quality and has become bad. So rotten is poor quality. And this in particularly can be used for perishable items. Uh, food per se or fruits or um, even flowers which have gone bad. Now you can use the word rotten. Well guys, there's so many words that you can replace the word bad with. 
with different situations, you can do that, right? Okay, so that's all for today. I'm going to see you soon with another lesson, with another topic. Until then, this is me, Mira, saying ciao.